Hey everyone, so in this video, today we are talking about that how to use the JavaScript Codex Sandbox in OpenAI. So here it is, you can simply open beta.openai.com. So over there, so in the Chrome, so once you open that window, you, you need to log in into the page. So after the login with your Google account, so after that, there is a plenty of options will be there text completion, code completion, image generation, fine tuning, embedding like that actually. So each of the thing is a beta function. So now it's already in that research stage. So I can go to the code completion. In that part, uh, you can see that there is a tryout and a codex JavaScript sandbox it will be there actually. You can just open into that. See in that codex JavaScript sandbox level, you can do that multiple things within the seconds actually. For example, uh, I can type create clock in JavaScript. So I just type it and uh, I just send a request. See, once I send a message create clock in JavaScript. So after that, that code will be generated in within the seconds. And also the digital clock will be appears in the preview window actually. So after that, I can type uh, create analog clock in javascript with the ui so i just type it create analog clock in javascript with the ui so here it is now generating see actually within the second uh, it will be generating the whole thing actually uh, you you can think like that if we take the task manually so we need to do the canvas settings and uh, do the uh, this whole stuff that uh, graphics and uh, 2d and uh, that calculation so all those things we need to do right but in that case it will be generating in within the seconds so that big task uh, will be uh, completing in few seconds actually that is very cool right okay so the next part i can just clear that so i can type create table with student mark list so i just type it let's see see the all the things should be mocking and uh, now the code should be generating see that within the second the table will be uh, generated actually so i can add add a filter in this table so i just added so you can see that searching and uh, save <laughs> so it's pretty crazy right few seconds i just um, are getting the whole table with the uh, filter option and uh, make this table design in this table so i just add a see now some design should be added and uh, add design in filter box so just add it see design also added and uh, provide add button in this table so just adding yeah so there is a one add button should be added implement adding the new row in this table okay so i just added and uh, if I click the add button, that new row will be creating and uh, add uh, update row function in this table. So I just uh, type it. So see, you can you can edit the HTML or I can type intelligence AI value should be so I just added and uh, add update button in this table so if I just clicked that uh, that update button also created add a refresh the table features in this table so I just added the another functionality refreshing the table actually add a refresh button so I just created so refresh button also added and uh, add uh, some css to design this page okay so the next part 
i can some graphical interface to, uh, programs using this codex javascript sandbox okay so let me type create snake game in javascript so i just type it and uh, now the code is generating now see so if you are a web developer or, ja or a full stack developer so that would be a very useful tool for you actually see you can see that i can control so i oh it's too fast okay okay obviously so now we are also created our own game using this tool actually so here is the code you can take that code and you can paste it wh wherever you want so just use it so the codex javascript sandbox so this url i can add it in the description below and i hope you guys are if you really like that video keep subscribe my channel and if you want to more videos keep share it to your friends and like and comment share okay so love you all see you on the next video thanks